fucking total thrash, man. God damn, dude. Holy fuck, that was fucking bad fucking ass, man. Traitor right there, dude. Let's call these motherfuckers up right the fuck now and see what the fuck is going on in their world, man. Okay, okay. What's up, dude? What's up, no? <laughs> no, I can't hear better. Hi, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how you doing, man? You're fucking live on the radio right now, man. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Yeah, shit. Uh, well, yeah, I just got up <laughs> because I fucked up our timeline, man. But uh, actually, I'm pretty good right now. <laughs> fuck yeah, man. What, what did you guys do last night, man? Were you partying? No, dude, uh, well, I was just like, uh, to, uh, nowadays it's uh, like super that the time for Christmas markets at our places. So we just had like like some mullet wine and just went home, watched a movie. Yeah. So that was pretty chill. Awesome, man. Awesome. So uh, so tell us, man, what the fuck is going on in the world of Trader and Reset and all these other things that you've been doing, man? You've been pretty busy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, always, always. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, we just released this year like a uh, new AP with Reset, the new World Murder AP. You did uh, also an awesome job uh, with Metal Devastation Radio and all your promo work on that. Thanks. So, guys, if you listen to that, uh, got to that. <laughs> He's the man for that. <laughs> and uh, yes, we also did uh, release that Exile to the Surface album with Trader. And um, this was amazing. Uh, we uh, entered the Billboard charts on uh, place uh, 44, I think. And yeah, I've been touring, um, playing awesome gigs with that. And uh, it's been our best uh, album uh, since our career. So um, we're pretty excited and pretty good with everything. Yeah, man. This record is fucking insane badass, dude. Like, it's so fucking badass, man. Uh, mm, thank you, man. Yeah, we we can't stop listening to it, dude. Fucking just banging our heads, fucking nice. jam to it, man. Um, now you guys have a, a there's a special cameo on this one as as uh, like there was on Reset you had uh, one of the guys from Destruction on one of the songs, mm -hmm. and then on this record you got one of the guys from Sodom on it. Can you tell us about that? Like, how did that happen? Yeah, um, that's the song Total Thrash. Uh, that's like the original soundtrack for the movie also. And we had the pleasure to work together with uh, Tom Angel Ripper from Sodom. And uh, we knew the Sodom guys like for a couple of years because the new guitar player, the rhythm guitarist, uh, York, uh, he used to be our stagehand. So that, that's a funny story behind it because he usually uh, got us our uh, instruments and now he's like playing in Sodom, which is great for him, of course. And um, yeah, we just did uh, the movie and the uh, uh, director, uh, ask us to do a song for the movie and uh, he also had this uh, idea to to have like a uh, one of the big teutonic four like the old school guys in the song and uh, we are we're always good with sodom so we just asked sodom or he asked sodom uh, or especially tom uh, we made some demos, uh, did the, the lyrics and all stuff, and just showed him what we want to do. And he liked the song, and he was uh, on board with it. So that was something like uh, 
what can I say, like like a nice surprise for us and also yeah. like for the movie. So <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I mean that's that's like that's German thrash fucking royalty right there, you know what I mean? Like that's that's pretty fucking huge, dude. It's cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, thank you. And I, I mean, it's also uh, awesome for me because I did a song with uh, Schmier from Destruction and Tom Angel Rip. And now, now I need just uh, Gerrit from Tank God and Miller from Creator. Yeah. So, and after that, I can, like, like in my head, I can jerk off to it. So I did, like, four songs with, uh, with the Big Teutonic Force, something like that. <laughs> That's, like, on my bucket list. So. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just about to say, man, you just need to get, like, one of the guys from Creator and fucking... Yeah. <laughs> you would be done, man. Yeah, the, yeah, man. Those guys are badass too, man. I just saw them live for the first time uh, uh, last month. They they uh, played with uh, Merciful Fate. Uh, Merciful Fate, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I uh, saw saw the two posters with that, and I was like a little bit jealous because uh, they're just doing the tours overseas, like in the US. And it's nothing uh, in Germany or in Europe with uh, Muscle Fate and, and created together. So you've been like fucking uh, lucky best for that, man. Oh, man. Well, uh, I hope, I mean, I'm sure, sure they'll do something over there soon, man. Of course. They have to. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So. But uh, I keep the fingers crossed because that, that would be something which I would like to see. Like Muscle Fate uh, live, of course, that's going to be awesome. And, and Creator, I, I think I saw them like, I don't know, because uh, they're, they're from Germany too. And I'm also a big Creator fan, like uh, at least like five or six times live. So, but it's been a while. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You, I didn't see those bands when I was a kid. You know, when all that stuff w was big in, in uh, during those years, and then uh, when the pandemic and everything happened, like you know, I, I mm. st started to wonder. You know, maybe that's never going to happen because you know we don't know what's going on with the world. And but it's cool that things things have seemed to open up, and and now it's becoming more of a possibility. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, the, there were like like two tough years for music industry or just like the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. The last two years were pretty pretty rough with that. So I'm also like like super excited. It's getting more soft and up, and everything is more open again. And yeah, so I, I'm hope I hope that's like gonna be the standard like back uh, like uh, how it was back in the days like. 2016, 17, 18, 19, all the stuff. Yeah. But uh, the last years, they, they, they were tough with all the shit. So you, you'll be uh, pretty lucky because of uh, tools like that. So it's good for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Speaking of tours and live shows, uh, what, do you guys, what do you guys have coming up, man? Anything you want to let people know about? Um, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we have a, a last little run uh, in the end of the year from the 26th to the 13th of uh, December, a uh, mini tour with Sodom, mm -hmm. and we can support them uh, in whole Germany with that, and there's also Darkness on, uh, on board with us, and uh, yeah, we, uh, it starts on 26th. And we're going to be in, um, I think, oh, I should know that, fuck, uh, Bochum. I think it's going to be Bochum. Uh, there's Wiesbaden, Erfurt, and uh, two other big cities in Germany. So you can catch us live there on uh, two dates of them. And after that, it's, uh, we're going to start uh, planning a new tour again for the next year. There are also the final steps already. But I'm not allowed to uh, talk about that specifically right now. But um, there's also going to be a old school and very uh, known band from the US on this tour. And I think Kirk Hammett did their uh, first demo also. So that's like everything I can say about it. Maybe it, it rings a bell by uh, some guys of you or something like that. So we're going to return uh, next year again. And there will be a lot of uh, festival shows, also with Trader and Reset, so it's going to be a busy year for me. Fuck yeah, man. That is badass, dude. 
Yeah, and maybe, maybe you want to invite us to your uh, Tennessee Death Fest, you know? <laughs> that would <Dude>. be fucking cool. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, man. We would we would fucking love that, dude. Hell yeah. Speaking of that, yeah. speaking of that, I, uh, uh, yeah. I, had, I had to tell you, uh, I was talking to my buddy Chris Grant. I, I know you. Oh, nice. You know yeah, Chris, from, he's uh, the best, man. Yeah, I love this guy. <laughs> Yeah, man. He, he he told me to to, uh, to tell you. He said, "Hey, and uh, send you his love, man." Fucking he he's our. Oh, uh, thank you very much, man. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty much our designated. Uh, 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 what do you call him? Uh, fucking uh, comedian comedian at the uh, Tennessee Metal Devastation Music Fest, man. He did a great job at that. Yeah, I saw that. It's like I, I was like. Uh... Um, I'm, I'm so on all the news and, and uh, the the fucked up thing with some church guys in, in Tennessee yeah, or something yeah. like that. That was pretty fun. <laughs> like like for me, it's pretty fun. But uh, I think if you're living in the surrounding and and, and putting something up like uh, this kind of festivals and you have all these problems with some. I mean, everyone can think and believe whatever he wants, but it's like uh, you just want to have a good time and you want to put something cool together and you get this rocks uh, between your legs with that shit. That's like fucked up. But uh, everything I saw like uh, with your festival and uh, especially with Chris, he was like the entertainer between the sets, right? Yeah, dude, he was fucking hilarious, man. Like I've never, I, I that was the first time I ever met him in person. Well, we've been talking yeah. for for years online, but we never met. And then, you know, we came, he came down and, and they did that. And uh, oh my god, he's so fucking funny, dude. Like you think he's funny on his videos, he's really funny yeah. <laughs> in, in person. And and up there on the stage, he kept everybody going the whole day, man. It was really really cool. This guy's awesome. I yeah. love it. I've been like, <laughs> on this show maybe like three or four times or something, and it's always a pleasure. And Scully, she's also an angel, and she's yes. also so funny, man. That's that's they're a great couple. So yeah. that, that's pretty cool. So you yeah, connect with them. Yeah, it, it was definitely a cool thing, man. It was just uh, it was like a big metal family uh, type of reunion type of feeling. You know, like like the whole day. It was just really cool. Everybody. And they put like like on the Wikipedia page like like uh, some pics for from from a festival, right? Did they? I don't for, know. From, I don't know. I haven't. I, even I seen. think so. I saw something like some <laughs> posts. So it's like a, I don't know which band, but there was like uh, I think from Nashville or something. Uh, they put like uh, on the original website um, some pictures uh, f from which band was it? I can't remember, but uh, it was fun. I, I think you posted also. I saw that like somehow. That is really cool, man. No, I haven't seen that yet, but uh, I have to check that out. I have to figure it out. I'm gonna gonna send you that. I saw something like that. That was pretty fun. So I thought, oh man, they left a mark. So that's fucking cool, man. <laughs> yeah, I I wasn't sure. You know, like I wasn't sure what was gonna happen because we didn't have any uh, mainstream bands on the bill. Really, you know, it was, it was all really pretty underground stuff mm -hmm. and a lot of people were telling me you know like they were like you, you gotta get so you know you gotta get a big band headline you gotta you gotta have a big band or else it's not gonna do well and i was like man fuck that you know like i i think these people i think this is gonna work you know like the underground there's a lot of support here and it, it did work like it was it was surprising but it really did work and uh all the bands were selling merch all the bands uh, made new fans, and and they were able to hang out and and meet with people, and it was just cool, man. Yeah, but that's fucking awesome. I mean, that's what's all about. And I think uh, if you just started it, like for the first time and the first run, it was a great success, so which I can tell about uh, the picture I saw. And if you keep on going, like the next two, three, four, five years or something and just keep on growing naturally i think that's going to be a really huge number oh, yeah. somehow so that does and then you can get like like one or two big headlines and all the headliners and all stuff but uh, i think to to have like a little underground festival and getting that that little uh tiny super cool bands around uh, around town and then put them all together on a billboard that's super cool yeah yeah it, so, uh, it is it is cool man fucking uh well, well thank you man and and we really yeah that would be awesome if you guys could ever make it over here for something like that man that would be fucking 
yeah people <laughs> did just hit me up <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're down for everything you know it's uh, like always like uh, it's more and more the problem with uh, all the flights yeah and uh but but uh I mean, w w actually, with reset, we were also planning like uh, recording a new album this uh, not this year in the uh, in the beginning of next year, and we're gonna finishing uh, I think in March or something or end of February is gonna be like uh, the demo tracking of the new tracks. So we're gonna finish that next year, and we're definitely coming back uh, to us with reset. So that's gonna happen. Okay. And maybe it's gonna be something like like around the time when you're gonna start your next uh, metal devastation uh, festival down there. So that's gonna could could happen. Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. In your future. I'll have my people will contact your people and uh <laughs> we'll make this shit happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like like with like foreign aliens and my people are gonna contact your people, so maybe we gotta connect with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but I think it's like with, with your metal community, uh, community in Nashville because I just know Nashville because of uh, country music. Yeah, and Tennessee that that's famous for that, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they're famous for. But th I mean, that's what the uh, that's what the the media wants you to think. But like, there's a lot of metalheads here, man. Yeah, the U.S. of course, but I was like, yeah, Nashville and uh, I mean, you're in the South, right? There, there's uh, Alabama and Atlanta and all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, correct. Like, uh, to, uh, to, uh, yeah, right. Uh, I just did like uh, I'm also working like for a label for a uh, Wilding Creek Owl label, which we are also signed to, and I just did a new record from uh, from SOG, the guys from from Rigor Mortis and uh, Hollows Eve uh, Die Bright. Yeah, they they got the new album coming up here yeah, with SOG. I just did the record for them. It's gonna be released somehow next year. Fuck yeah, man! Hell yeah! Yeah, and I think they're from Atlanta, just like uh, next to you on the right side, right? Yeah, it's like gonna be more on the actually on Tom the east. Yeah, actually, Tommy from Hollow's Eve was there at the festival. He played with his solo That's band. Sick. So yeah, nice. Yeah, man, it's it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's like like the world, the world is a village, so there's a connection, like the area. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's 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 a small world, really. It is, man. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So, well, tell us, man. Like, uh, as far as your influences, what what got you into music and stuff? Like, when you were a kid, man. Like, what what got you to where you are now? Um, I think. It all started because of my dad and my uh, older brother. My uh, my big brother, he was super into uh, old school Norwegian black metal and, and all the stuff. I think he was something like 12 and I was something like 10 or uh, something like that. But uh, black metal was always a little bit too grim for me. So I, I didn't enjoy that too much. And my dad, he used to be uh, also a bass player in a uh, indie rock and roll f some kind of funkadelic uh rock band from nuremberg right, in uh, bavaria and that was in the 70s and this band was called uh, me and the others and so there was always music around and he was also like a big rock and roll uh, psychedelic rock and metal guy so i grew up with uh, hendrix the doors uh, also with slayer and all stuff and I think it was something like a natural uh, development, and he just introduced me with my older brother, like uh, in the age of ten, eleven. And I think my first band, which I really was listening to, was uh, Disbelief, that old school death metal band from Germany. I think yeah. it was eleven or something. Yeah. And Legion of the Damp was one of the first also and uh, after that I, I just started listening to you know like 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 the big ones like like Metallica Distraction Sodom Tank God uh, a lot of creator running wild all that the classic stuff and I just stick like uh, to uh, like so Florida death model really hit a mark to like like uh, the butchery yeah. stuff and I also like Six Feet Under a lot the new album is like kind of shitty don't like the new stuff from them but they did some great records and after that it was just like more uh, yeah Exodus even 
forbidden and all the stuff and then the newer bands like Havoc, Warbringer and yeah so, so I just like slide it into that into that line with that music you know and then I think yeah from from my uh, dad and my bigger brother and all the influence from them and uh, that that made like the impression on me and then you got your own way you know hell yeah man hell yeah well i i can definitely feel it and hear it in your in your music like it it's it speaks a lot of uh a lot of different stuff that i grew up to i can feel it in the music that you're making man and it's really cool oh thank you nice man no, thank you yeah. appreciate it you guys are definitely capturing the energy and uh the aggression that was in a lot of those early records when when thrash metal was uh first starting to come out man it's really cool to hear it well, thank you man thank you yeah you're welcome man fucking uh uh so i gotta ask you man uh, uh what, what's your since everybody in the fucking world is talking about it right now i gotta ask you what what's your opinion on uh the pantera fucking uh tour uh, well, <laughs> I I think um, you, you know that's like a media thing, or of course, but they, I, I, because uh, some some organizer also like like had this headlines like uh, Ticketmaster and, and Ventum and all stuff, um, um, the big Pantera reunion, and it's of course not a reunion; it's like uh, paying tribute to Pantera, and. Uh, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to see that. I, I want to see, see see that live. And, uh, well, what can you say? The, 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 the Dimebag guy, Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul, uh, they, 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 they're bad. They did some great music, but uh, half of Pantera are still alive and uh, just got friends with... Uh, uh, with them on tour and they're gonna pay tribute to that and i'm gonna give it a try i i don't know i, I won't judge I, i'm gonna see that live and after that i'm gonna judge it yeah. but uh, i'm pretty excited for it so I, I i don't really get all that 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 buzz buzz around it you know it's like like if you want to see it go to sean if you don't want to see it stop bitching about it nobody uh will, will uh, force <laughs> you to see it you know right <laughs> but i'm looking forward to it so so it's uh, i mean sec wide and uh charlie Binante from anthrax they're also great musicians and they do great music and they, they need the guys for real and in their life and and i think that's gonna be a great somehow tribute show to to uh the uh Dundee pros you know yeah yeah i'm i'm pretty excited about it too man fucking uh you know i'm not gonna lie dude and uh i i saw them uh i saw the original band when i was young uh oh, several yeah, nice. times and it was it was amazing you know and but I, i'm very much looking forward to uh to seeing this you know what they're doing with the tribute and uh because, I mean, you know, it, it's for me, it's just it, it would be great to see Rex and, and Phil mm -hmm. on stage again doing those songs. And, and like you said, I mean, Zach and Charlie, I don't know. To me, they're doing a great job and uh, I'm just excited about it. You know, I think it's I think it's great, you know, rather th rather than pick it apart and be like, you know, well, they're not they're not doing this right or that. Fuck that, man. Like, they're just having fun. Let them have a good time, man. Let the people have a good time, man. Let let people enjoy yeah. it and uh, celebrate it, you Yeah, know? same here. Yeah, celebrate it. And I think, it, it, I mean, that Pantera tribute shows, it's not, not something like super new. Uh, I mean, there's that uh, death tribute band, and there wasn't, like, that yeah. big public outcry about it. Like, oh, yeah, they they just gonna uh, fuck up the legacy of Chuck Schultner and uh, something like that. Uh, well, no, we just cannot play that music because the people still gonna listen to that music and they want to see that live and then there's a demand on it and fuck it, we can do that and we like to do that and pay some honor for this guy who created it. So, so I don't know the big hustle about it. So, you know, it's like more... Yeah, let the people do whatever they want, man. So, or at least suck a dick and just shut your mouth, man. So, whatever. I mean, when you see the videos and you see the crowd with the smiles on their faces and they're screaming and yelling, they're just they're having so much fun. They're fucking jumping in the air. It's just like 
fuck man like like <laughs> that's good that's a good thing yeah yeah <laughs> Just keep it on going. I mean, uh, it's uh, uh, hopefully they won't make something out of it like like the last Kiss tours or something. Oh, that's going to be the last tour. That's going to be the the next tour is going to be the last tour, and then we do another one. But after that, that's going to be the last tour and something like that. Bullshit. Just uh, give it a try. Have a good run, and and yeah, you see what the people are going to say. And uh, I think maybe they keep on continuing like like playing like five six seven maybe ten shows a year like worldwide with pantera why not yeah because uh, like all the musicians in there they're super busy guys get their own bands their own projects so that's like something exciting to look forward because you just got this constellation and i, I mean black label society they're always touring um i don't know what, what uh, rex brown is doing right now he has his own band also, I don't know if there are big touring in the U.S., but but Anthrax is always around, and I mean Flasano, he is down, and he's pretty busy with that, and has his own label and all stuff, so he's also pretty busy, and yeah, so so it's exciting to get like all these four guys together and have also this great music, so. Yeah. I look forward to it. Yeah, I think under the line, I, I think Pinter, the the Pantera show is going to be super exciting, and it's a super super chance for for people who couldn't see them live back in the day. So it's going to be a good experience. Fuck yeah, man! Hell yeah! All right, bro. Well, uh, I guess I'm about out of questions for you, man. Is there anything else you want to let the people know? Oh, thank you. I think uh, not really. I'm, I'm very happy you had me on your show, and um, I appreciate your work. I really do. Uh, I appreciate what you're doing uh, for the metal scene, like worldwide right now. And yeah, uh, listen to our new album with Trader Exile to the Surface if you didn't already and yeah maybe the new World Murder AP with Reset. There are also some mangas on it, and if you just stay metal guys that's gonna be awesome and uh, it's highly appreciated so keep on keeping on fuck yeah man well before i let you go can i get you to make us a station tag real quick of course yeah all right say something like this is trader and you're listening to metal devastation radio okay uh, hi guys here's Lawrence from trader and reset you're listening to metal devastation Ro uh, radio with zach moonshine <laughs> Hell yeah, man. <laughs> you like Swan? <this> <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. I know it's early over there, and uh, we really appreciate yeah, it's it. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, you know? <laughs> 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 On a Saturday, fuck it. Yeah, but hey. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a surprise this, this uh, evening or yesterday evening. So, oh, fuck, we're, we're talking Eastern time, not Western. So, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, we'll let you go back to sleep, man. We're gonna fucking blast some more fucking traitor and reset for these motherfuckers. Nice, so nice. Crazy, right? <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Have a great night or evening, and I hope we talk to each other soon. And yes, let the metal flow. All right, man. We'll talk to you later, brother. Yes, see you, man. Cheers. There you have it, folks. Traitor reset. Live on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation Motherfucking Radio. Like I told you motherfuckers earlier, man. Put your speakers in your windows. Put them in your front lawns. Put them everywhere. If you don't see U-Haul trucks everywhere tomorrow, if you don't see your neighbors moving out, you are not fucking cranking it up loud enough, man. Reach out, grab the volume knob, and crank this motherfucker loud as a fuck. <laughs>